If you were to ask any hip hop fan what the status of hip hop is right now, they'd probably give you the answer along the lines of it's on a downward spiral, with only two albums from the genre going number one this year. The first one being Pink Tape by Lil Uzi Vert, selling 167,000 unit equivalent sales, and the second being Utopia by Travis Scott, selling 496,000 unit equivalent sales, which had then proceeded to go on to be number one for the next three weeks, selling pretty crazy numbers. Those are the only two albums we've had this year. It's quite disappointing, but I think that number is about to change with the release of For All the Dogs by Drake. And let me tell you why. Hey. I'm Vanex, and I make documentary style type videos on topics I'm interested in. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining why I think Drake's For All The Dogs is going to be saving hip hop from the grave that it's in. And by the end of this video, you're not going to be able to disagree with me, so stay tuned and you'll see why. Now since we're talking about the album that's coming out, we have to talk about the song that came out, Slime You Out featuring SZA. The talking part at the beginning is very random and unneeded, and I don't care to hear what Drake is, has to yap about. The singing part, although reminding me of 2010 to 2016 Drake, it just doesn't sound right and it doesn't fit well here for me. SZA's part, although the lyrics were absolute garbage, her voice hits 10 out of 10 times every time flawlessly and I'm very happy to hear her and Drake on the same song together finally. But what really wins me over with this song and makes me not absolutely just hate it is the verse after SZA's part from Drake. It hits so well. The flow for the verse, how his voice sounds, the instruments, it just hits. You need to listen to the song in a car with bass boost on, maybe a few extra speakers in the back because that shit hits. Which segues me right into reason two, why Search and Rescue shouldn't be on the album. The song stinks. I'm not gonna go too deep on this because I actually did a whole reaction video on it, so if you really want my, like, honest opinion on the song, you can just go watch that. The Six God is putting out an album in October. The OVO King, October's very own, is releasing an October album. This is actually his first ever time dropping an album in October. I'm gonna talk about some confirmed features, some leaked songs, and everything in between, so let's get right into that. The first one, Another Late Night featuring Yachty, which was confirmed by Cole Bennett in an interview. That's wild, dude. Do you understand how big of a deal it is that you shot a Drake music video in <laughs> Maple Ridge? You know, I didn't understand that it was a big deal until I heard people chattering about it on the internet of like... And then it kind of put things into perspective. That sounds like fire, but it also makes sense because Drake and Yachty have been everywhere together, especially within the past like two years. At the gates featuring Uzi, now this has been a leak that's been out since like 2022. So it's not exactly confirmed, but I think most people are hoping that it'll be on the album. Nicki Minaj and Bad Bunny were confirmed to be on the album by Drake when he was on stage. It's also possible that Burna Boy might be making an appearance. He just had his album dropped not that long ago and he hinted towards it and there was no Drake feature on his album, so we can hope and cross our fingers for the Drake album feature. But the two that really get my blood boiling is Yeet being on the album and J. Cole being on the album. Neither are confirmed, but one was heavily hinted at, and one was just Drake begging on his knees for. Yeet leaked a song that was produced by Benny X of his. Drake responded to it on his IG story saying, new music from Twiz and the boy. It's kind of hinted at from Drake and Yeet himself that Yeet might make an appearance on here. Yeah. Now the J. Cole feature we gotta talk about, I'll just show you the clip. Oh, family, friends, hopefully an album. Now that clip is literally just Drake getting down on his hands and knees and begging to the King J. Cole himself to hop on. Nothing would get me more excited than a Drake and J. Cole feature. People have been wondering where the rollout for this album is, but you gotta keep in mind the rollout has been happening since like last summer. Drake has been going viral over and over and over again. And it's not your it's not your typical rollout for an album, but it's Drake's version of a rollout for an album. It's just keeping his name in the media, keeping hype surrounding him, going viral over and over again. This album will get thousands, if not millions, 
no, let me scratch that. This album will get millions of streams because he can't stop going viral. Now the last reason, and I feel like this is the reason that will win you over if none of them have so far, is the fact that it's Drake. Drake can't lose. I would be more surprised if Drake didn't go number one than if he did go number one with this album. I mean, he already went number one with the song that came out. He already has features that will help him go number one, even though he doesn't need them because he's going number one on his own terms because, again, he is Drake. He is the sixth god. He is Drake himself. There's no denying it. You can't outdo Drizzy Drake. He is the highest streamed, highest paid, highest everything rapper in existence. This album is going to flame up in the air. The conversations about hip-hop being over will stop for at least a month while this album is happening because this album will be in rotation for everyone. All jokes aside, I do want this album to be really good. I have struggled to get into a Drake album for the past like five albums and I really want to like Drake again. I really want to enjoy his music. I just haven't been able to. So Drake, give us a good album. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.